It's absolute. Uh, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in shock. Trophypursuit.com brought to you by Upwind Odor Elimination. We can make this. That was easy. This baby should have rolled up my window. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> well, tonight we're out scouting. Uh, myself and Dunk will be out tomorrow with our bows. I finally get into the turkey season. Um, we went south of Knoxville and we found this outrageous farm. Huge hay field. We already saw three toms strut the night. Um, we know where they're going to be. We're going to pop a blind in the morning. Been a new farmer and it just pays guys to stop and just talk to farmers. Ended up knowing both of us. Great guy. Um, we're heading south here again to look at a couple other farms. The turkeys are definitely out. Um, we're out enjoying some gravel time. Spotting some turkeys and eager in the morning to pop a blind and see what we get done. I got the bibs on. So, no doubt we're going to have some luck in the morning. Chris is going to be first up to put one on the ground with his bow. And uh, hopefully maybe two will show up. We get two stuck. We'll keep you guys posted on TrophyPursuit.com. Well, here we go. It's the morning of April 19th. Beautiful morning out. A little bit windy, but uh, it'll allow us to get in there and get set up quietly. So, we're excited. I'm waiting to Kenny, for Kenny to come out of the house right now. And, uh... We'll go get set up. I tweaked my back super bad. I'm in a lot of pain right now, but I'm hoping that I can, uh, as I start moving around, it will uh, loosen itself up a little bit. But anyways, here he comes right now, so I better get going. We'll see you guys here in about 30 minutes. I just can't, I can barely see him, but he is coming. for about 15 minutes yeah 15 both minutes. of them gobbled they came in just went to work on the Dakotas and, uh, he only went probably 20 yards from where I shot him and then we switched up really quick and Kenny drew back and he put a good shot on his his is gonna be dead or over the hill we're just gonna have to give him some time but uh, we hope we find him we got one bird down for sure and another one that's probably right over the hill we're double up. Those traumas did work. Double up. You didn't make it very far. No. You take a beating. You got the more marks. Dakota Jake has taken a beating this year. Gage Berryman's uh, youth season bird whooped up on him pretty good. And then uh, he took a few shots for the team this morning, but it was worth it. 
Tarama did its job. Look at that cutting diameter. These are the 125 grains. Guys, I'm telling you, if you're bow hunting turkeys, we've had nothing but awesome luck with them. But uh, as you can see, you saw the video, he didn't go very far. Really nice bird. I'm super excited about this. Um, we've been really having a, a great year as far as the hunting goes here at Trippy Pursuit. I think this is probably bird number 39 and Kenny's is number 40 for the year. So we've had a good year hunting. However, one of our team members was uh, seriously hurt um, a few weeks back, Cole Nelson, while he was doing the plunge for landing. So Cole, this bird is for you and uh, we know it won't be long before you're back out here doing this with us. So anyways, we better get a tag on him so he can be mine. Bring that on up here. Check, check out these spurs, Kenny. Look at that. Nice hooks, baby. Oh, yeah. Sweet. It's <laughs> dead right there. Dead right there. First bow kill. Never shot turkey with a bow before. I'm addicted. Let's go get him. Didn't electrocute myself. That was a good one. I wish that spur wouldn't broke off. Check that him out. Old, old bird. Oh yeah, one's nice. I wonder what other turkey has that stuck in it. <laughs> I may have checked the Dakota. Yeah. Well, let's get him tagged up. A new revolution has begun with the hybrid series line of broadheads from Dead Ringer. Bow hunting is my life, and the broadhead is definitely the business end of what I do. So when failure is not an option, shoot Dead Ringer. DeadRingerHunting.com. All right, guys. In November of 2013, a thread hit archery talk titled Southern Ohio Giant. Everybody started referring to the deer as OG. So from this point forward in the documentary, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna to refer to him as OG. Um, what's, the, what's the history with this deer? What's the past? What's the present holding? And what's the future gonna be for him? And has he survived? What will he become? You know, the deer became one of, if not the most famous deer, living deer ever documented due to the fact between social media and internet forums and, and some truth, some lies, and all of everything in between. So what we're gonna do here at Trophy Pursuit is we're gonna set out to tell the real history and the real story of OG.